Seconds out, first round. Officially for the Commonwealth and the vacant British title. But an awful lot on the line, personally for these two as well. White says he wants to expose Joshua as a fake. Joshua wants revenge for that defeat in the amateurs. And they've certainly come out fast, and White is certainly setting his stall out here. And if he does land one of those big, wide swinging hooks of his, let's see what happens. But at the moment, Joshua, very watchful. Joshua's got a big smile on his face as he walks him down. Can't miss him, can he? White just swinging and hoping, and Joshua smirking at him with contempt. Joshua is just in a different level from White, and there's no getting away from that. He's in a totally different level from White. Well, I'll tell you, it'll do White psyche a bit of good if he can hear that bell. He's really had to dig in here. There was a good minute of a barrage he had to sustain and get through there. Can he hear that bell? That in itself will be an achievement. It seems he's got through some of the cobwebs. Well, that was Joshua hitting after the bell, and White not having any of it. White's lost control. White has lost control completely. And what's happening here? Everybody's in the ring. Well, Everybody. I hope, well, I hope White doesn't want to get disqualified. He, he's a boxer. He knows discipline is required. And he uh, threw several punches after the bell. Uh, don't, don't tell me that he wants to be disqualified. Well, Jonathan, of order. Jonathan Banks has separated him, but some of his entourage, who we've never seen before, flew into that ring. And Banks is taking him by the hand and sitting him back down. Goodness know. knows who those guys were. I don't know if this many guys are allowed in the ring, right? Here. Joshua's picking him up as the guard drops a solid, crunching right hook. White oh. can certainly take a punch. Oh, oh, and he shook Joshua. Joshua. He shook Joshua. Joshua's hurt. Joshua's in big trouble. Massive turnaround here. White going for it. White's got to be careful on to punch himself out, though. This is what Both I mean, Paul. You've got to use your own power when you're fighting a man who's untested. Test his chin out, and White's done that. Big right hand from White. He was like a wounded animal. Big, big right hand. Joshua, when he does connect. Joshua stole the combination from White. That was a combination White was using. Jab to the stomach, right hand to the head. White felt it, but again, he's taken it. Joshua, slow, methodical now. Yeah, I think Joshua's got his mind back on the job. I think earlier he thought the job was done, he was a little bit careless, but I think now he knows his career, well, this stage of his career is on the line. So he's back to showing a bit of discipline and thinking what he's doing now. Yeah, I think he's settled into the fact that this fight will go rounds. I create my scorecard. I actually have given White uh, two rounds. I think we need to adjust that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give White because obviously the round where he hurt oh, got got Finally got him. Is this the breakthrough? White looking to hold on. And this time he is holding, unlike he did in round one. Rocked by that big right hand. Joshua looking to size him up. Gets another right hand through. White looking to try and hold. Lands a right hand of his own. Terrific response again from White. He's in shape. I tell you, to get through all this stuff, he's in shape. Incredible that White is still there. Joshua not letting him off the hook. Howard Foster having a close look now. And as long as White returns fire once in a while, which he is doing, Foster but look at the legs. There's a grin from White, but the legs are betraying him, and down he goes. He's hurt. The way surely, he went surely no way up here for Dylan White. It's stopped. It's over. 2014. Oh, wow. Well, let's see what happens. Dos Santos took some time off after losing by knockout to Paulus Moses. Dos Santos is a hairdresser in his native Sao Paulo. He's got a salon there. He's been 15 years a hairdresser. Couldn't find anybody to fight. Has to travel to fight from Brazil. And so he stayed and worked in his salon until this opportunity came up. Throughout the fight tonight. Well, that shows you the maturity of, of the young fighter. He wants to be 100% going into that ring. He knows how important it is. He knows it's a golden opportunity for him to be a, a superstar in the business. So, you know, he takes his, takes his injury seriously like he should. You know, the one thing I noticed about uh, Jose Nielsen when I looked at the tape uh, oh, is that he, stay, he 
tall, but he fights tall. He doesn't bend his knees a whole lot, so he's straight up, and he backs straight up. Santos uh, watched the tips. He likes to switch up occasionally during a fight, really for no apparent reason, but he does it. Dos Santos threw a wide right uppercut. Oh! It's over. Even if he re gets, gets up. Oh, it's over. It's over. He's in trouble. He's done. It's over.